In this video, I want to show you how to make a box and whisker plot using your calculator. And for this specific video, I'm going to use my TI-84, but it also applies to, say, a TI-83 calculator. So let's get some data and see how we can use our calculators to make this box and whisker plot. Alright, so the first part we need to do is get all of this data into the calculator. Press your Stat button, Edit, and then simply enter in all of your data values. There we go, so all of our data is stored in there. Now we need to set our stat plot to make sure that it's set to box and whisker. So press your second button, and then the y equals, which is for stat plot. Uh, right now, all of my plots are turned off, but I'm going to press Enter so I can go and set up my options for the first one. So it's blinking on the on, so press Enter. Let's go down to our next one. Here's where we get to set the type. And you'll notice that there's actually two types of box and whisker plots. In the first type, it takes into account that you might have outliers. And so you can mark those with, say, a, a little box or a little dot. Whereas the other one for a box and whisker plot says uh, not to take into account out outliers, just use your highest and lowest value. I always like to take into account any outliers I might have, so I'm going to choose my first option. Right now, we also need to set our window uh, so that we can carefully see everything that's going on here. So press your window button. Uh, the x min and x max should correspond to your uh, data over here. So I'm going to select my minimum to be, say, 8. Now let's do our maximum to be 25. That should be plenty in order to incorporate everything that we have. Uh, for the Y minimum, I'll set that to negative 2, and the Y max 1. This will be so my uh, X axis is really close to my box and whisker plot, and I can correspond with all of the values. All right, I think everything is set up pretty good. So finally, let's press our graph button. And there we are. So we can see the calculators quickly made the box and whisker plot, and it is even marked out my outlier at 22. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, now, usually the calculator doesn't mark out the different values uh, on your box and whisker, but you can find them by pressing your trace button. So now a little bullseye has shown up on the end and says my minimum value is 10. You can use your arrow keys to scroll through all of the other key values on the box and whisker plot. So Q1 is 11. Uh, my median is 12.5. That'd be like Q2. Q3 is 14 and a half. Uh, my high value is 17. And sure enough, there's my outlier or my maximum value at 22. So as long as you set all of your options correctly in your calculator, you can quickly have it build a box and whisker plot for you. 